Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, hello, thank you for watching. Today we're going very 80s with this vintage retro chia jacket, and kind of even the hair, I guess. This is my natural texture hair out of the shower. This is what it is. Today I'm doing kind of a different video, but at this point, every video on my channel is different because, guys, I am just really enjoying making the content that I want to create. And, you know, it's not doing well. Like, if you go and look at my recent views on my videos, YouTube is really, I guess, not putting my content out there because it is womp womp, but I don't care because I'm just putting up content that feels true to me. It feels authentic. It doesn't feel like work. It just feels fun, like I'm sharing with friends and videos that I would want to watch. So today's video is one that I'm sure is out there. I've never seen it done. But one day I was just straight PMSing. I was just living my best womanly life and I wanted to munch. Like I was craving everything under the sun. And it occurred to me that I have my go-to snacks that I cannot keep in the house all the time because I will devour them, but they are very helpful whenever I'm just going through it and having a bad day and I want to indulge. And I thought that it could be fun to share those with you guys because, you know, as somebody that eats a plant-based diet, I think we snack maybe... I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think it could just be, you know, motivation for people that maybe are just now switching to a plant-based diet to see that there are options for you. And by the way, I am not saying that any of these foods are good for you because they're all, actually they are all trash, but that's kind of the point of this video. It's like, this is what I junk out on when I just need to have a PMS vegan day and this is what it is. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna to try to keep two categories, but there aren't a whole lot of things. These are just my go-to options. So I'm going to start with things like chips or like snacky movie type foods. This first item I actually started eating when I went gluten-free. And by the way, I am still not supposed to eat gluten. And in fact, when I do eat it, I get sick, I get uncomfortable. It is a bad day, it is a bad week. However, I'm not as strict about it now because I am already plant-based and it just became such a hassle to always be eating plant-based and gluten-free. So I kind of sacrificed my health. I know that's bad, but again, these are not items that I eat all the time. These are items that I just need to junk out on. So I started eating these when I went gluten-free and these are, it's like a sweet chili chip. And I actually picked these up because I was craving something like a Dorito. Like I wanted something that was a chip, but was kind of like had a lot of flavor. And these are so good. These are live G free, gluten free, sweet chili flavored brown rice crisps. I get these from Aldi. I'm not sure if that is the only store that carries them. It doesn't look like an Aldi exclusive brand, but it may be. But these are my go-to when I just want a chip that is full of flavor. The next item is a very traditional party mix. This is kind of like a Chex Mix. This is the brand that is sold at Aldi. Now you do have to be careful with like the traditional Czech mix, Czechs mix, because it has Worcester, Worcester, Worcester sauce, um, which is not uh, plant-based, it's not vegan. I, I like to say plant-based because vegan is like a lifestyle, plant-based is a diet, but they're used interchangeably here. Um, so these ones, as far as I can tell, do not have anything that you know, isn't plant-based, but these are my go-to when I just kind of want something a little more salty, when I'm not necessarily craving like the flavor of a chip, but I kind of just want something junky and salty and something just to snack on. This is my go-to for that. And then lastly, in the chip section, we have popcorn. I, popcorn is kind of just like a staple we watch a lot of movies in my house. We go to the movies. Like, I just got into a habit very early on of picking up popcorn because it is a low calorie, semi healthy ish snack compared to like those other two. 
and you know these just contain it's organic popcorn organic sunflower oil and sea salt so it's very simple it is something like i said that i just snack on whenever i am like running out the door and i just need something you know a lot of people snack on almonds i snack on popcorn just something that is quick and kind of gets me out the door and gets me moving or if i'm sitting down watching a movie I go to a very kind of bland-ish popcorn. There's not a whole lot going on here. Next, we are gonna move on to a drink item, and this is a very, very small, there's only one item, and that is an eggnog. We currently, right now, are in November. We are moving into December, into the holidays, and ooh, there is cat hair all over this now because it's sitting on my floor and the cats have been rubbing around it. So, eggnog. I am the person I used to love eggnog. I was obsessed. Then of course I switched to a plant-based diet. Eggnog is made of egg, milk, all sorts of stuff. So I started looking for plant-based versions of eggnog. Now I will say that plant-based eggnog is not like great. Like I don't think it really mimics the original. However, it does hit that spot whenever I'm just craving something that is very holiday because I am a person that loves the holidays. I love everything about it. And I wanna feel like I'm a part of that, especially at parties. So that's when I turn to eggnog. And I don't stick to a specific brand like this one. I'm not even sure if I've had this eggnog before. Every year I just pick up all different kinds. Like every week I'll go in and pick up a new one or every two weeks, whatever. I pick up a new flavor. There are definitely some that are better than others. Some that taste a little more like traditional eggnog, some not so much. So it's kind of just a trial and error, but it's more just I like the feeling of having like something different. Next, we're going to move into the dessert section, which is my favorite section. Duh. Since I've gone plant-based, the hardest part about being plant-based, well, first of all, I actually crave less sweets, which this is going to be very like contradicting. I crave less sweets. It used to be when I would eat a traditional diet, I would eat something sweet every single night. Um, and then I went plant-based and I stopped craving sweet stuff and I started craving more savory items. However, on those days when I am straight PMSing and I just want something sweet, it felt very difficult at first because there are tons of delicious looking vegan recipes for, you know, vegan desserts. But I just felt like they all needed like these very exotic rest or ex exotic ingredients that I don't have around the house or that cost too much money or that took too much time to make. And it just became something that I kind of cut out of my life because the effort wasn't worth like what I was getting out of it, the payoff. However, every once in a while, like I said, I just really crave my go-to things like cake and ice cream, like those things combined, and I'm not even a big ice cream person, but I have to go get that stuff out of the freezer, but for now, I'm gonna show you, um, first I'm gonna show you a chocolate bar, which, it's very rare that I pick these up, but these are the Mosh Roth brand from Aldi. By the way, the light is awful. These ones themselves are not plant-based. This is my husband's chocolate. Um, this one has caramel. It's not plant-based. However, the Mosh, Mosh, Mosh or Roth, just dark chocolate or dark, or I think on the box it says sea salt and that's it. That one is plant-based. So these chocolates, are very 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 rich to the point where I don't ever feel like I need more than one and again before I went plant-based that was not the case I could chow down on some sweets but now I just eat one of these they are this size and that does it for me they are so rich so sweet and the sea salt one gives it just like an interesting texture, an interesting flavor. So these are my go-to when, you know, I don't want to prepare anything, but I just want to grab a quick like late night sweet treat. That is this. And then next we have my favorite dessert combo. So growing up, I was not a huge ice cream person. Like I said, it wasn't my thing. However, you give me ice cream with a cookie or ice cream with a cake combined, and that is my favorite dessert. It always has been very simple, but something about like the warm, chewy texture of a cookie mixed with the cold texture, the cold, just ice cream and oh, the solid and the almost liquid, 
amazing. I was on the hunt for a good cookie and these are my go-to. These are the Sweet Lauren's um, gluten-free chocolate chunk cookies. I also do the double chocolate chip cookies. I actually, I think, maybe prefer the double chocolate chip. They were sold out. My kids prefer these ones and yes, my kids and husband do approve of these. They are gluten-free, they are vegan, and I mix these. I cook them to where they are soft and chewy and right out of the oven warm and I mix them with the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy non-dairy cookie dough chocolate chip ice cream. Another item that I have tried various brands. I have tried them all. I right now in my freezer I think I have four different brands of ice cream. Again, you know, beat a dead horse. That's a bad saying. I'm not crazy about ice cream, but if I'm going to eat ice cream, I am going to eat the Ben & Jerry non-dairy line. Like I said, I've tried so many different brands, and to me, nothing beats the Ben & Jerry. I feel like the Ben & Jerry ice cream tastes like traditional ice cream. The other flavors I feel like are very, very heavily, like obviously coconut or almond milk, and they just don't taste like ice cream to me. They taste like something that is trying to mimic ice cream. So put these two items together and you have my favorite dessert. Now we're gonna move on to the item that I crave the most. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, when I switched to a plant-based diet, I started really craving savory foods. And I started really craving things that felt like home, felt like comfort food, and so I started eating these Amy's mac and cheese. It is gluten-free and dairy-free. Disclaimer, my husband thinks that these taste like plastic. They're not going to be the most like amazing thing that you're ever going to eat because they are frozen, they are gluten-free, they are dairy-free, but for me, I think they are delicious. It hits the spot when I'm craving something homey and comfortable and hot and savory. This to me, I have two boxes in front of me right now, which I will be eating for at lunch. It just really hits the spot for me. I will say that if you cook these in the microwave, like most things, it's not going to be great. Like, it just doesn't really do it for you in the microwave. But if you take the time to cook them in the oven, which I know is hard because it is, what does it take? 35 to 40 minutes. It's like asking for the world to stop spinning. Like it's never gonna happen. That's what it feels like. However, you have to put it in the oven. You put them in the oven, it is delicious. These, it just, like I said, it hits the spot when I just need that certain kind of food. And also to me, it is very, very filling. So this is my go-to mac and cheese. To be honest with you, I haven't tried any other brand because I ate this one time and I was hooked. Lastly, we have something that is not necessarily junk food, but I make it when I'm craving kind of a junk food, and that is my vegan chocolate Shakeology. I do have it here in my Shakeology case because I pour the bag out and put it in here, but not just Shakeology because obviously this is a healthy food. When I am craving something like a drink that is chocolatey or sweet or I just am craving, I don't want to say a shake because it's not really like a shake. But I take my chocolate Shakeology, I mix it with ice, and I mix it with peanut butter too, which is powdered peanut butter. I blend it, and all of a sudden I have an icy, peanut buttery, chocolatey drink. And not only is it delicious, it is filling, it is healthy. And yes, I did stop coaching a super, super long time ago, like I think three years ago at this point. But I've made it no secret, I still drink Shakeology every single day. I won't go into that in this video, but I do still drink it, I do still love it, and I mix it with the peanut butter too and the ice whenever I'm just craving something a little out of the ordinary in my day. And those are my favorite junky plant-based foods. I feel like I am missing something, but these are pretty much my go-tos. You have savory, you have semi-healthy, you have holiday-ish, you have dessert, you have I mean, it's all there. These are my favorites. I hope you guys like this. Please let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I really, like, I want to create content that I enjoy, but I also want to know that you guys are enjoying something about them. So please let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!